About two and a half years ago, I bought a Ford Transit Custom um, and I rebuilt this one into a little mobile home. And I remember I used YouTube a lot to figure out what I wanted to do with the van, like how to make the bed, how to make the cupboards, the kitchen, the electrics, the lighting, everything. I think I got 80 or 90% of my information I got off YouTube. So now we're a couple of years later, I've been using the van for like a year and a half, I'd say. Um, and I'm very happy with how it turned out. So I want to make a video myself to inspire people to make one yourself. Um, what I noticed is that prior to starting it, I didn't have that much experience with rebuilding things. I didn't have like experience with like electrics, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, it was not that difficult, but it just takes a lot, a lot of time. You need to have a lot of time. I think I spent about six full weeks, like six weeks, seven days a week, like eight or nine hours per day. And that's what it took me to build this one. So if you start it, remember, it's going to take some time. You don't do it in the, in one week. It's going to take some time. So enjoy the video. The first thing I want to show you guys is actually, I think the most important piece, and that is the bed. Um, I remember I was looking up a million different options. You can find so many things online on YouTube on beds, and I couldn't find what I really liked because I wanted to have space for my uh, windsurfing equipment or tents, etc. underneath the bed. Um, but I still want to be able to make it into a sofa so I could use it uh, to eat. So eventually I just ended up making my own design. Uh, it has a metal frame and a wooden top. And the cool thing is that you can extend the legs so you can put more stuff underneath or you can also, and you can also convert it into a sofa. Once the bed is converted, we have this little table that pops up that we can use to eat in the evening or inside the imagine on a rainy day or we can work on the laptop. So the next thing I want to show you guys is actually the kitchen block. It's also very customized for this van. Uh, first of all, you can see here is the slide out fridge. Um, very big fridge. I'm happy with the big design. This is a brand Domatic. I can definitely recommend. It's not cheap, but a good fridge is important. Don't forget to latch, otherwise it will slide out while you're driving. Uh, next here we have like a little slide out table, which is very useful when you just stop it along the road and you uh, quickly want to make a delicious sandwich, like you can see here. Um, here we have the fire, which we can put inside, and you can also put it on the table outside that you just saw. Um, very useful, just if you want to cook in the evenings during the day to make your spaghetti sauce. Then we have a pump system in the van. Here you can see running water. We have a storage system for just for the pots and the pans as well as for the place here then we have some more storage space underneath the sink we have like a little lamp for at night and this is the water storage system very very easy system but you can just pour it out whenever some small slide out cupboards and some more built-in cupboards believe me you cannot have enough cupboards and uh, saving space in a van believe me you don't want to have all this stuff uh, flying around here's a little thing that a lot of people don't expect to be in this small van but that's a porta potty it's a chemical toilet in the beginning i was a little bit i wasn't sure i was going to install it but eventually i'm very happy with it it's so useful for, for at night you don't have to leave the van you don't have to go and find a force to go to the toilet you can just go in the van we have electricity, uh, 220 volts inverter, and then we can charge your phone, laptop, all these things. You can see the ventilation system, very small ventilation system, nothing special. Um, a voltage meter, always useful to know how much juice you have left in the van. More cupboards, these are the cupboards we use for a uh, uh, toothbrush, and then here are the cupboards for the clothes, etc. As I said, you cannot have enough cupboard space. You believe me, you don't want to have everything flying flying around. Ah, by the way, while we're standing here, <laughs> look at this view. This is where we're standing right now during uh, filming of this video. This is in Switzerland. Wow. More cupboard space. Uh, next is actually a 
shower system that I installed. I'm very happy with this. Uh, after surfing, I can rinse off my surf equipment with this, or if you're salty, you can take an outdoor shower. Next up here is the heating system I installed. I just recently installed this one. Uh, so useful if you're wanting to use it in the van in the winter. I live in Belgium, we're getting it quite cold here. And I'm very happy with this system. Just five to 10 minutes, put the heater on and the whole van is nice and toasty. Next, I would like to show you my window blinding system, let's say. I used some of the isolation. I used to isolate the van and I cut out the size of the windows. And so these are the perfect window isolations for noise, light, and just to make it completely dark in the van. You can also see the lighting system I have. I have indirect LED strips, and then I have these little spotlights that you can touch and then they turn on. You can see the LED lights. It creates a very cozy atmosphere in the van. And here are the spotlights. Then last here, I want to talk a little bit about the electronic system. Um, I have, a, as you can see, I have an extra battery. A charger for that battery, an inverter, and it's all charging while I'm driving. I'm not going to talk too much about this because um, there are many videos on the internet that go quite in depth on this. So you can take a look at those. Uh, next up, I'm just going to show you some videos of the last trip to Switzerland and how it feels having a van, living a bit of the van life. Hope you enjoyed the video.